first uh, player. He doesn't give you that uh, that passing lanes, that uh, uh, defense between passes. He doesn't drive as much as as Partey. He doesn't take more risk as Partey does. He's not as robust as Partey, but he can do a tidy job there, right? He's not as adventurous as Partey, and I get that point. Neither will Tillemans do the same job. Tillemans can't do what Partey does. He's not physical enough. He doesn't have the legs, the lungs. To be a six, Tillman's is an eight. It's not a six. So this call, this uh, craving to bring in Tillman's because of party is ridiculous. I'm not. I don't understand it. And I say a lot of people don't like Jaka. Even as an eight, I will not take Tillman's ahead of Jaka right now. I understand if Jaka has done some terrible mistakes, some blunder. Fair enough. But for the past eighteen months, Jaka has been on it, and I'm going. To, I'm not continue going to judge a man. On his past, I'm understand you have to take his, his past into consideration in making decisions. But at the same time, I'm going to put the current form into consideration too. I'm not going to say, oh, because you had made some mistake. I will. A lot of you are exercising prejudice. Let, let's call it what it is. A lot of you are exercising prejudice. You don't like him. Yes, he's not the quickest. But guess what? Neither is Tillman the quickest. But let's stick on topic. We are speaking about party. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Stick a like on the video and turn the notification bell. Four out of four, four wins, 100% record. Fantastic victory yesterday against Fulham. Even though they scored first, we had the character, the personality, the verve to come back from a good deficit. It was fantastic. And shout out to Gabriel. I understand he made a mistake, the error allowed Amitrovic to get the better of him. And Mitrovic scored that goal. He, he, I love the fact that he didn't panic. He could have panicked and tackled and um, like in the penalty against Gabriel and he's sending off. Now, people will not look at that part of the decision. People will not look, oh, he did that on the ball. I was angry, yes. I was very, very furious with uh, Gabriel yesterday. But I stepped back a little bit and thought of it that he could have been worse. He could have been worse. Nobody's looking at that part of the game that Gabriel Magalhães will have panicked after uh, Mitrovic robbed him of the ball, then tried to tackle him. So I've gotten a red card, would have made him unavailable for the next three matches, consider the penalty, and that would have been worse. Our comeback would have looked harder than it was yesterday. So shout out to Gabriel on that part. I'm giving him kudos for not panicking uh, in that situation. And he still scored the winner from zero to hero. Shout out to Gabriel on that. Now I'm going to speak about Tillemans. I'm seeing here people going about Tillemans here, yeah, Tillemans, I need to discern Tillemans. Yes, Party was out yesterday. According to report, unconfirmed report, uh, that Party was withdrawn due to his tight uh, tie and it was just a precautionary injury. He's not really injured. It's just a precautionary uh, withdrawal that maybe this the injury is not as severe as first, as first perceived. So let's calm down. We don't know how long Party is going to be out for. I understand it's frustrating. We need to get somebody there. I understand that Enini cannot do the same job at the same level that Party does it. Enini is more of a safety at first uh, player. He doesn't give you that uh, that passing lanes, that uh, uh, defense between passes. He doesn't drive as much as, as Party. He doesn't take more risk as Party does. He's not as robust as Party. But he can do a tidy job there, right? He's not as adventurous as Party. And I get that point. Neither will Tillemans do the same job. Tillemans can't do what Pate does. He's not physical enough. He doesn't have the legs, the lungs to be a six. Tillemans is an eight. It's not a six. So this call, this uh, craving to bring in Tillemans because of Pate is ridiculous. I'm not, I don't understand it. And I say a lot of people don't like Xhaka. Even as an eight, I will not take Tillemans ahead of Xhaka right now. I understand if Xhaka has done some terrible mistakes, some blunder. Fair enough. But for the past 18 months, Jaka has been on it. And I'm going to, I'm not continuing going to judge a man on his past. I'm understand you have to take his, his past into consideration in making decisions. But at the same time, I'm going to put the current form into consideration too. I'm not going to say, oh, because you had made some mistake. And well, a lot of you are exercising prejudice. Let, let's call it what it is. A lot of you are exercising prejudice. You don't like him. Yes, he's not the quickest. But guess what? Neither is Tillman the quickest. But let's stick on topic. We are speaking about party. Tillemans is not a party. He can't just have the job party does. It doesn't. I'm going to reiterate it. He does not have the legs. He doesn't have the long. He gasses out with it for the five minutes. He considered three penalties. 
last season. That's still a must. Hypothetically, if Arsenal gets him, a lot of the fans who in the next one year will hate him and continue to call for, for, his, for him to be replaced. So let's calm down, understand? We need to bring in someone to deputize party when he's in when he's not in his squad due to injuries. I understand El Nini is not of that ilk or he's not of that level. And I, and I understand that part. We need to maintain a certain level, right? But guess what? Tillemans is not the answer. It reminds me of Buendia. Last season, when we're holding out for Odega, a lot of fans were actually calling Edu out, calling Atita out, oh, how can we allow Aston Villa get Buendia ahead of us? Even though we're linked with Buendia, but Aston wanted to get Odega. And we can see who is the, be- who is the better player, who suits, who suits our system right now. Odega is playing better than uh, than Buendia, as Aston Villa, in my opinion. Odega strings, it, it, it links the team together. He's not, he has not added goals to, 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 to his play. Come on, guys. Sometimes, I understand we have opinion, but sometimes... Let's not let our personal feelings overshadow our personal interest or opinion, especially if your opinion is not guided, is not factual, your opinion is not based on research. I've watched Lehmann's carefully. I've done research on him. He's a good player. I will not say that. He's a good eight. If we need a substitute for Xhaka, I understand. But as a replacement or uh, alternative to party, he is not a six. He can't do the job. And I will not put Tillemans right now ahead of Xhaka. Xhaka is plainer out of his skin right now. He has the lungs, he has the legs. He might not have the athleticism, but he has the endurance compared to Tillemans. I understand people have this mentality, always crave for something new. If possible, fans will sign players every week. If possible, once there's an injury, fans will keep on signing players. That's why fans don't run clubs, because they'll run to the ground. Because you are just exercising uh, every decision based on your, on your, on, on your, on your, how I call it, on your emotions, and emotions are fleeting. They, they swing from time to time. You cannot make critical decisions based on your emotions because it's always swing at time to time. So that's not rational. It is daft, as it might sound that like I am being insulting to think Tillemans can do what Party does. He is not a six. He has never been a six. In the D is the six at Leicester, not Tillemans. So to think that we can bring in Tillemans to do the job that Pate does is a fool's errand. It, it can't work. If you, if you have a better argument regarding this, leave it in the comment section respectfully. I can talk about it. I stand by what I'm standing by. And there's a reason why Arsenal have not gone out to push the boat on Tillemans. There's a reason why. I know we've had talks with, with, with his camp and representatives, which is fine. But there's a reason up to today Arsenal have not gone full throttle to push it. They might still get in, but he's not going to play where party plays. And I have my reservations that I don't think Arsenal will get a Tillemans. I think Arsenal might get a midfielder. I would not be shocked it will not it won't be a Tillemans. I'm 70% sure Arsenal, if they get a midfielder, it will not be a Tillemans. Because we have a Sambi who can deputize for party, sorry, for Xhaka as the eight. We've seen during the preseason and some of the games, Arteta is bringing on Sambi as an eight, not a six. We need a six, not eight. And Tillemans is not a man. Shout out to him, he's a good player, but he would not fit the kind of the style of play and the pattern of play we are trying to uh to exhibit at the Emirates. So, guys, I understand you want something new, but m- make sure you put some thought behind it. Like I said, if you disagree with me, leave in the comment section respectfully. We can have a, a, a discourse about it. Tillemans is not the man for me. Just like I had it last season, I know Buendia was not the man. He looks good. I love I love ITES, but I watch beyond behind it, beyond sorry, beyond the ITES. I look at other things, your off the ball work, your athleticism, your endurance, your legs, uh, your team ethic. And for me, Tillemans has he has the, the offensive passing range better than Jaka. But the defensive part of it, the robustness, the physicality, he doesn't have it. So Tillemans can never will not be a, a, a substitute or a replacement or an alternative to part in my opinion. So I will not be disappointed. Rather, I'll be full of euphoria and, and celebration if we do not sign Tillemans because I don't think he will do it for us. I don't, I'm not saying he's a bad player. No. I've never said so. So don't misquote me. Don't misdirect my information. I just think he will not be the right fit for Arsenal. I'll rather bring in a real six that can do the job. I don't mind Kondobia. I think it will be 
the right player if we can get him. I doubt Atletico will hold out for a King's Ransom. A Kondobia will do the job. Other six can do the job, not Tilema. Tilema is not a six, it's an eight. Like I said, and I reiterate, he, has, he doesn't have the legs, he doesn't have the lungs, he doesn't have the endurance, he doesn't have the physicality in the middle of the park that Arsenal requires. So, like, guys, like I said, leave a comment section if you disagree with me and we can chat about it respectfully. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one.